Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. The Artisan Orthodox. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? It is a strange knife. Is it orthodox or unorthodox? But this is a G10 uh, model of the orthodox from Artisan Cutlery in D2 steel blade, as you can see here. Um, you know what? This is very affordable, not very expensive. I think they want mm, retail around 59 bucks for it. And then, of course, just remember White Mountain Knives, 10% discount, so about 6 bucks off of that. There you go, in the low 50s with free shipping. In any case, this has got a big choil up front. And it looks like a straight razor, actually. And I wonder if it cuts like one. I think I was doing some paper cutting a couple days ago with it. I've had this around for at least a month. Okay, reasonably sharp out of the box, reasonably sharp. Very slender, but it's not a small knife. Where's my, where's fancy here? It's not a small knife. There's the paramilitary too. Yeah, bigger than that. Looks like, doesn't it? That's kind of crazy. Let's see. Let's put a let's put a tape to it and see what we have. I didn't think this was more than well, it's you know, it's 3.75 to the back of the choil and up to where the bolster is. So really cutting edge is three and a quarter at best. Okay. But about 96 millimeters you know right to the bolster i guess and then up here eight and three quarter inches uh 20 not quite 20 and a half or 22 it's over 22 centimeters not quite 22 and a half centimeters so half inch bigger than the paramilitary two and the blades longer big choil like i said so you can take it like that. Um, it, these artisan knives have ceramic bearings in them. And this obviously has, uh, it's a deep carry type clip, but obviously it's not mounted way up here. So it's gonna have some hanging out of your pocket and left hand is available too. And they seem to do that with all the knives I've seen them do is right and left hand tip up and of course there's where your torques can go in and take it apart and yeah it seems like the action oh didn't get over the detent ball there there you go drops pretty good the detent itself is pretty similar to most flipper knives uh this one you know let's try that again yeah this is weaker than some though and you know which may be something that you like as far as being able to uh use the gravity flip method to uh open it up but i'd say it's it's a four to four and a half so most knives are around a five five and a half but this one's a little less potent on the detent. Kind of a swinging gate out here. Not a real snappy flipper. But it holds the detent to where, you know, a pretty lazy flip will get it all the way open and locked up. And there's your lock up. About 40%. Okay. Take a look inside. And there's no uh, skeletonizing of those stainless liners there. And I didn't take this one apart, but, you know, it just didn't seem like I needed to. The action on it's pretty good. I didn't put any lube or adjust anything. It came pretty good right out of the box. And it comes in, you know, box like the G10 ones do. 
in some plastic in this kind of velour type bag, uh, which is nice. I mean, for a $50 knife, uh, better than I get from a lot of $50 knives, that's for sure. Let's pull the scales. If we can find them in my pile of junk, well, if you could look at my desk, you'd go, oh my God, what the hell happened? Because <laughs> it, it's a scatter pit. Um, 123 grams. Uh, 4.35 ounces. Uh, not bad, I guess. Let's pull and let's see how thick the blade stock is. If I can ever get to my little micrometer thing here. 0.143 of an inch. So yeah, 3.65 millimeters. All right, let's see uh, exactly. Now that we got it zeroed out. How thick these scales are 14.1 millimeters 0.56 how tall is this not very six tenths of an inch about uh, 16 millimeters so when you got it closed this is not going to take up probably a lot of real estate in your pocket I mean as you can just kind of see by looking at the design 28.7 1.13 inch uh, and as it goes up and down here, yeah, that's about that's about the most right here, 1.14 inches. So, open design right here. This looks like you can access it with a screwdriver, and of course, like I said, torques there. So, how does it feel in the hand? Um, it's pretty well balanced. And yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's not a real tall handle, so it doesn't really take up a lot. And I kind of prefer a little bit taller handle so my fingers don't roll back in. So this one, yeah, it's not, you know, see, it's not quite the way I prefer a handle. But, you know, for this design, this is the way it is. Okay, the pass-through is real easy to get to as far as yeah pushing that lock bar aside and running up here and you got a lot more room on the on the handle not like you don't have a lot of room on the handle you do uh reverse grip's not bad it's not bad it's okay not bad at all so it's not overly heavy uh, it's interesting. This might be interesting in M390 in titanium. So you can get these in the titanium as well as a frame lock. So, hmm. And then this. And I'm not sure if they have them in carbon fiber. I did not look. Usually Artisan does them in G10. And then the laminate carbon fiber like you have on this ravine right here. And then... And then titanium, both in S35VN and M390, which is just a lot of iterations to make of a of each model, but they do in most cases. So there you go. The 1817P, as they say, the serial number, but they really that's a model number. Oh, didn't get over the detent ball there. I think you got to watch your finger maybe a bit, you know, because there you are. And if that slips by you when it closes, it can, it, the blade could get you. So you need to watch that. The detent bulk is a little late to clear when you want to flip it like a flipper toy. So just be careful with that. Otherwise, you know, just clear it like that and then let it drop. But it's centered, no lock rock, no blade play. Um, yeah, it's good. It's a good solid knife. And it's just a matter of this is just a design that you're either going to like or maybe not. Uh, I, I think it's cool. I like it. It's, it's unique. That's for sure. Uh, I'm not sure the black G10 is what, uh, turns me on so much, but if I had this in a wild looking, uh, color in M390, yeah, it might be, uh, 
really interesting to have. All right, I'm going to leave you with it. Orthodox, artisan cutlery. If you got one, let me know what you think. Uh, we've tested the D2 steel, the M390 steel, and the S35 VN steel on Artisan, and they test true. This one, and, and all their HRCs run high. I mean, the D2 HRCs ran as high as 63, but even 62.7, and I don't think any of them were under 60. They were either at 60 or up for the D2. And then the M390, it seems like they all run 60 plus. I don't think I've seen anything from Artisan under a 60 on the HRC scale. But this D2 has a little bit more uh, chromium in it, which will make it even more, I mean, you know, D2 being a semi-stainless, but, you know, then obviously if it has more chromium in it, it'll be even more uh, on that stainless side. Push it over the edge a little bit. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging around. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.